Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. This is part five of fully automated data entry form. And in this part, we are going to add two additional feature in our existing form. First one is uh, we will add a command button on user form so that user will click on that to run the form in full screen mode. And again, user will utilize the same uh, command button to restore the form size in actual mode. Okay. And the second feature is we will uh, make uh, the department combo box uh, totally dynamic. So if you just need to add any of the department name in that combo box, you do not need to go to coding window. You just uh, need to add uh, the department name in a, in a particular worksheet. Okay. And combo box will automatically update as per the data available in that particular worksheet. Right. So let's uh, move to Excel window. And here you can see that this is fully automated data entry form. Let's click on launch form. And this is automated data entry form version 1.0. So as of now, we have added the code to validate, add, reset, search, edit, delete and print. And we have covered all those all these features in our first four parts from like starting from part one to part four. So if you have not watched our initial four part of this tutorial, then I would request you to please complete from part one to part four and then come back to part five. So in that case, you will be able to relate the logic and will be able to understand the code which we are going to write. OK, I have already provided the link of each and every tutorial in description box. Kindly refer and watch from part one to part four. OK, so let's uh, close this form and go to click on developer tab okay and click on visual basic right and just double click on frm form so first of all we are going to add uh, the full screen feature so let's increase the height of this form press ctrl a to select all those controls and let's drag all those controls to bottom okay now we have sufficient space over here so let's uh, click on command button and let's draw a command button over here so currently i am using uh, the command button you can use to make uh, this form attractive okay so let's select the command button go to properties window and give the name as cmd full screen and the caption would be screen okay so now uh, we have added a command button let's uh, move to module and let's declare five different uh, global variables to store weight height left top and the state of the form okay so let's declare public i width as integer public i height as integer public i left as integer public i top as integer state as boolean okay so we have done with the, the variable declaration so here you can see that we have declared width height left top and b state variable and all these variables are global okay so we will utilize this variable to store uh, the current width of form height left top and state whether it's a uh, full screen mode or it's a restore mode okay so let's uh, go to the bottom of this module and let's add a sub procedure okay let's start coding so sub and sub procedure name would be maximize underscore restore so we will use the same procedure to maximize as well as restore the form so let's uh, start writing the code so if not b state is equal to true then and if so we will write each and every code under this section if and end if so first of all let's uh, 
initialize the variable that is height width top left and this okay so i width is equal to frm form dot width i height is equal to frm form dot height i top is equal to frm form dot top and i left is equal to frm form dot left so basically we are assigning the current width height top and left to this global variable okay let's start writing the code to uh, make the form full screen so let's put a comment code for full screen let's start writing uh, with with application and here and with a window state would be you know uh, maximize so we uh, we need to run this uh, user form in maximize mode okay and frm frm form dot zoom is equal to we are uh, zooming all those controls which are available on form in the same ratio okay so integer and dot width divided by frm form dot width and then multiplied by 100 right and then frm form dot startup position would be zero frm form dot left would be a dot application dot left okay frm form dot dot top is equal to application dot top frm form dot width is equal to application dot width frm form dot height is equal to application dot height so we have done with the height width uh, top and left but is let's change the caption of command button so frm form dot cmd full screen dot caption would be restore okay and let's uh, change the status of b state so b is state will be true okay so if b state is not true then we are making the form full screen uh, if suppose b state is true then we need to restore the form in actual size okay so again we will write the same code with application and here and with okay so dot window a window state would be excel normal and frm form dot zoom is equal to 100 okay and frm form dot startup position would be 0 frm form dot left is equal to i left so because we have already stored on the default left position in global variable that is i left same goes for width height top okay frm form dot width is equal to i frm form dot height is equal to height frm form dot top is equal to i i top okay let's come out from the with and end with block and let's change the captions frm form dot cm cmd full screen dot caption is equal to full screen okay and then b state would be false okay so we have done with the coding let's call this maximize underscore restore sub procedure on click event on 
cmd full screen so just go to frm form then double click on full screen and just call and paste over here okay let's go to debug and compile now you can see that there is no compiler error just click on that click run and let's click on full screen so now you can see that everything has been full screen now you can see that uh, the caption of this command button has become restored so let's click on restore now you, uh, this is available in the default mode let's click on full screen okay just close this so full screen feature has been added uh, let's make this department combo box uh, dynamic so let's move to excel and here click on new worksheet just rename this support okay let's move the worksheet to the last so let's uh, give the column header that would be department department name and let's add the department name. training quality it hr operation analytics bi okay so let's move to view and untick the grid lines just go to home and give the column header okay so as of now we have added seven uh, department so okay uh, let's move to developer tab then click on visual basic and select the form uh, sheet 5 and go to the properties window and let's change the name as such support okay now uh, let's uh, go to the reset code and the sub procedure here you can see that we are adding all those department with uh, these line of code so let's uh, create the dynamic name for department so sh support dot range and e2 comma sh support dot range and then here a ampersand application dot rows dot count dot end excel up okay dot name and the name would be dynamic and let's assign this name uh, to the row source properties of cmb department so dot cmb department dot row source is equal to dynamic okay so this is done let's go to debug compile double click on frm form this let's run this form and now here uh, let's check the combo box uh, the department basically so here you can see that uh, this is the department like training quality it hr operation analytics and bi and the same department is reflecting in this combo box so let's close this form go to the excel add a new uh, marketing again go to visual basic double click on this form and run this form and now you can see that uh, the marketing has been added now this uh, particular combo box has become totally dynamic and this is totally aligned with this the column which is available in support right and the full screen command button is working perfectly so with the help of this button you can full screen and make a as well as a restore the window so this is all about two additional feature hope you like this video thank you for watching please like share subscribe and comment have a great day bye bye